Hi there guys, my name is Ryan and you can learn making create together with me in Adobe Photoshop. Today I'm going to show you how you can change the backdrop with some amazing digital backgrounds that I've created. So without further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe Photoshop and as you can see this photography has the white backdrop so we need to remove that. So first thing first what we need to do into this photography we need to duplicate the background twice just like this and click here on the select subject wait until it's done and now that is done just click here on the laser tool and click select and mask so i'm going to refine the here so i'm just gonna zoom in here and click here on the refine edge brush and just click it here so as you can see that the color of the backdrop is removing from the hair and just a little here on the ear and the other one zoom out just a little and make a bigger brush and just click it here just like this and don't forget this part because as you can see the dress is looking great but uh, it's kind of uh, too soft and we have some color i'm gonna zoom in here because we have some color of the backdrop and i think that it will be removed now zoom out and just zoom in just a little here and remove that backdrop color from this part click ok zoom in uh, for example on the parts like this if you think that we still have some color and just uh, create an, uh, once the selection is looking like this you can just click here on the layer mask and as you can see that the background is uh, removed so as you can see we have uh, removed it like too much into this part so into the layer mask you are going to paint it with a white brush and bring back the dress just like this zoom in into the parts that is looking too transparent just like this and i think that is looking okay now I'm just gonna zoom out and here we have a before and after and now I'm gonna add the digital backdrop so here we have our digital backdrop so I'm just gonna drag and drop this with a move tool into our original window and put this under the subject and transform this into the uh, until we think that is looking more realistic and I think that this one is looking okay just like this or maybe we transform it again until we find the best angle just like this and i think that right now is looking okay but as you can see uh, the digital backdrop is kind of uh, looking too sharp so we need to add some depth of field into this uh, photography so we need to click here on the filter and click blur gallery and click here that says field shift so we are gonna uh, drag this to the bottom because uh, when you take a photograph with a camera usually the background uh, the background will be like too blurry or with a bokeh depends on the focal length and the lens that we are using but uh, to create this kind of real thing we need to add some uh, blur to this portrait and I think that uh, 24 pixel of the blur is okay you can even add some light bokeh to the portrait but it will not look that good so I think that uh, 25 is kind of too much so I'm gonna go by 22 and click ok wait until it's done Now, as you can see, we have some depth of field and uh, click here on the background copy and put this on top of the digital backdrop and uh, turn on that. Now, as you can see, uh, the blending mode is normal. So we have to switch it from normal to multiply in case we add some of the, of the shadows from the portrait that we have. So here we have the shadows and I'm going to click here on the layer mask and uh, click here on the gradient tool and just... Uh, drag a line here to remove that because uh, the multiply it will make the 
uh, digital backdrop kind of too dark so i think that right now is looking okay now here we have a before and after what we've done and now that we are done with a digital backdrop we just want to add some color grade so i'm just gonna click here on the a1 click play and check a before and after and i think that is looking okay you can even zoom in to see if everything is okay and here is looking okay the dress is looking okay so that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this short video tutorial please don't forget to check all the links down in the description because you will find the raw file also i listed a bunch of digital backdrops in my etsy account a link as i said is in the description so if you want to follow my step-by-step -step process first you need to download the raw file also you need to get the digital backdrops or uh, the digital backdrops of your own and follow my step-by-step -step process in case you want to learn a thing or two from me so that's it guys and see you in the next one peace